hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to explain you about how to use uh, use context in our uh, in our react app and i am also going to tell you like uh, for which case we have to use the use context or uh, why it is very helpful so let us create an example and then see uh, why it is an important so here i created a div and i also let's create a one more folder which uh, name is co components and inside this components let's create a new file first.js and let's create one more file second.js and let's create one more third.js okay uh, all these files are inside this component folder so for the first let us create a like this and the second here i have some of the extension that's why i just write few of the things and it appears the layout so so now uh, if uh, inside the inside this app folder i just uh, import uh, my component which name is first and inside this first let us uh, let us use our second component and inside this second let us use the third uh, third component okay and let's add a little bit styling so that it looks better uh, for div uh, let us set the width uh, Hundred pixel and mean height. Uh, let's say one fifty pixel. Okay. Yeah. So now, so now you see inside this first inside this first component we have the second and third, uh, and and inside this second we have the third. So. Uh, suppose if I want to pass some of the data via first uh, from this app. Suppose we have uh, I have some of the value which is present in this app uh, component, and I want to pass that data in the in this component to the third component. So let uh, let us let's create a state. Set title and use state. Uh, I am the last. Title so. So let's import this at the top, and uh, and let's pass this title to the up to the last component. So we have this way we are by passing the data, and inside this first, let us get this via props and pass this to the its child component. Okay. And in this, in this, the same thing. Title and this third, we have title. And now let us use this title inside this our third component. So now, if I save the file, uh, you can see uh, my uh, this data which is present in the first uh, in the app dot js. We passed uh, it to the third component. So suppose we have uh, we have uh, lots of data which we have to pass, uh, and and this chain is going to be very long. Suppose uh, this app contains first, first contains second, second contains third, third contains fourth, and fourth contains. So for that case, uh, it is very difficult to pass uh, pass the data for uh, for all the components. So for this, we have uh, the, uh, we have this uh, hook, which name is the uh, use context. So so for using the use context, uh, use context has uh, uh, its uh, use context has some uh, uh, syntax which you have to follow, and uh, let us try to uh, let us try to use that. And uh, so now, uh, app let's create a app context which we have to export. Create context and. Uh, Suppose I want to pass some of the values uh, like uh, let us create an object 
and uh, inside this object i have a title which is and the, the data uh, and from co app context okay so if i want to pass this object uh, if i do, if we don't want uh, if uh, if i am not using the context then i have to manually pass uh, via uh, via uh, all the components like first i am passing to the first component then second second to third so that's all but we are uh, now we have this app context so for using this app context you have to pass like this uh, app uh, context dot provider and inside this app context dot provider you, you have to just pass this value to uh, obj okay and uh, and let us remove this title thing so now you can see that title has gone and uh, let us try to uh, get the value of this object to our third component so now you can see i am not going to pass this uh, via this first component via this second so let us uh, directly move into the third component and let's remove these things as well and um, so now now if you want to use that context you just have to uh, import that uh, app uh, app context in your app and uh, const uh, context uh, data and use context and inside this use context you have to pass that app context so let us first try to console this context data and let's see what is printing let's open the console and uh, and you can see we have a object which contains the data and the title so you can now easily you can use that to context data dot uh, data so if i save you can see we have i am from app context so how easy uh, we can use this so suppose if you want to that data use that data in the second component so you can also use that let us try to print in the console as well app context and uh, let me comment out from the third so now if i refresh the page you see we have this title and the data which we can access in our second component so it is very easy to use uh, when we have the lots of component and we want to pass the data from the parent to its child so that's how we are using the app context in the app context you can also pass the function uh, pass the function like uh, set title as well set title and now in the third uh, in the third component and uh, you can also use like uh, context data dot set title you can set the title i am last uh, component okay so now we just uh, we are updating the title so we have to change the value here title and uh, now you see if i save the file you can see i am last component it update that title value so if i uh, use that title here as well uh, not here in the second component app context or title so you see here is also i am last component uh, <coughs> it prints so this is how we can use uh, we can pass the pass the function and whatever things you you pass uh, you can use in the other component as well so this is how we are using the app context i hope you get some of the ideas so if you like this video please uh, make sure you give a like and don't forget to comment if you have any query so thank you so much